Now that you've completed the plan, it's time to lay out the grid system. Here's a list of tools and supplies you'll need to install your ceiling. Step 1. Installation of the wall angle. The first step is to establish the height of your ceiling. Identify the lowest air duct, pipe or beam. You will need to leave at least 3 inches of clearance from the lowest obstruction. Next, make a mark 1 inch higher than your desired ceiling height at each room corner. Measure down from the floor joist above the ceiling at each room corner the same distance as your first measurement mark. Once you have marked all corners, use a chalk line to establish the position of the top of the wall angle. Once the lines are set, install the wall angle. There is no need to fasten against studs, but be sure that you have a screw every 12 to 16 inches. Try to butt the factory ends to each other and use the cut ends at the wall intersections. When you get to an inside corner, cut the wall angle straight and join them together. For outside corners, you will need to miter them at a 45 degree angle and fit together tightly. Step 2. Spacing and installation of the hangers. You are now ready to lay out your grid lines and hanger wires. While creating the room diagram, you made some decisions on where the main tees and cross tees would be placed. Note that you will be running the main tees perpendicular to the floor joist. Measure over from the starting corner to where you would like the first main tee to be located and put a mark on the floor joist. At every third, if the joists are on 16 inch centers, or every second, if the joists are on 24 inch centers, put a similar mark. These marks will show where the hanger wire needs to be placed, one wire for every four feet. Screw an eye hook at each location that you've marked. It's now time to mount the hanger wire to the eye hooks. Cut pieces of wire so that they will hang six inches below the wall angle and wrap one end of the wire through the eye hook and tightly around itself three times. Repeat this process for the rest of the hanger wire locations. Step three, laying out your grid with string. This process will make the installation and placement of the grid much easier. To locate the placement of the main tees, stretch a string across the room at ceiling height. Use the hanger wire as your guide. Use a clip or small clamp to secure the strings firmly to the bottom of the wall angle. Follow the same process to locate and secure the cross tee strings. In this case, make sure the location of the string is at the center of the cross tee slot. As you can see, we offset the string a half inch to locate the edge of the main tee. Last, use pliers to bend the hanger wires at a 90 degree angle, 7 eighths of an inch above the string. This concludes our grid layout video. You are now ready to begin installing the CertainTeed grid system. Please watch the next installment to complete your grid installation.